Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. And we are here in Romgahen, guys, on a very rare void-free day. Um, it's actually next door over the halls of origination. I'll probably be doing that off camera. But in the meantime, we need to talk to Partho and see what is next for our egg. We've got these nice little electric coils helping it out. I'm very curious if there's any more equipment we're going to have to get for this little guy. May the light embrace you. Warmth of the sun. The desert nights of Uldum can get awfully cold. I fear for our little egg's ability to withstand these temperatures. These Amethet to the east seem to have mastered the harnessing of the sun's energy. If we could borrow some of their expertise, we could use it to keep the egg nice and cozy. Keep your eyes open for something we can use. Collect an Amethet solar collector in Uldum. Dionys Aka. All right, well, it looks like we're heading that direction. Toward the invasion, so it's going to get very dark very soon. So in terms of what we're going to be doing here, guys, um, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I cannot stand this stuff to get torn pages. I've been holding it off for a long time. <laughs> and I just need to, you know, grit my teeth and go through it. But I figure for the purposes of the series, we may head over there right now, or after we're done with this, and show you guys another district that I haven't shown on camera. And then I would like to start the Waste of Time journey. And if you don't know what that is, um, it's another puzzle, another trip all across creation, just like we did for Ball, and some stuff during the Legion playthrough. But um, it, seemed to, it seemed to be very cool. So we'll go ahead and see what happens. This is not what I am looking for. Aha! Oh lord, it's one of these things. I actually don't mind those. Alright. Gather round, gather round. take care of the puzzle protectors and then do the puzzle and hope that they don't respawn while we're doing it and let's see here oh though inactive the device is still warm to the touch I thought we were gonna have to do I thought we were going to have to do this whole thing. Huh. I'm actually kind of disappointed about that. Oh well. Life goes on. The egg gets some warmth. And Hapartho is appeased for another day. So I guess that works out for us. Off camera, on my Demon Hunter, I actually just got the um, Heritage Armor for the Blood Elves. Being a Demon Hunter, you don't get a whole lot of opportunities to get Silver Moon Faction doing the main content. So, just to let you guys know, if you ever want to get exalted with your city, or any city, I highly recommend uh, getting one of the city tabards and going to Mechanar uh, in Outlands, in Netherstorm, because it's a really quick dungeon you can basically get from zero to exalted in about two hours. It's a pretty, pretty easy grind. The Naru have not forgotten us. Did you find anything among the Amethet? Yeah, here's your solar emanator. Oh, you found the solar collection device. <laughs> Perfect. Now our egg will be nice and toasty to the chilly nights. Be kind to those less fortunate. And we are, we are building quite the contraption here. Actually, really dig that. <laughs> kind of making like an incubation chamber kind of thing. Sick. Alright. So, now we will head to the Chamber of Heart. And we're going to head into another district. We already saw the drag. We've seen the uh, Valley of Spirits. Now I think it's time... We may want to go ahead and check out one of the... The nastier areas... And to do that, we will go to maybe the Valley of Wisdom. 
Now, Valley of Wisdom, for those of you who played uh, um, Warcraft, like, pre-Cataclysm, know that that's where uh, Thrall usually held court before they decided to meet, move Gromash Hold, like, into the center of the Valley of Strength. But a lot of good memories there. It's currently the Torin District, and I've gone there once already, just to kind of scout it out. I didn't really try and actually do it. It looked... It looked fairly interesting. So we'll see what happens. It's going to take me a little bit to get there, so I will see you once we get into the gates of the Horrific Vision. And I believe it is Ogremar. I don't think it's Stormwind was last week. So um, regardless, I'll see you at the gates. Alright, it is Ogremar indeed. So what we're going to do is we're going to head into the Valley of Spirits and see if we can just go ahead and go into the uh, next district. Now, I think the thing that's really holding me back here is one of the upgrades that we can get for ourselves. It's the next one. I need like 800 more um, whatever the currency is in order to attain it. Champions! We've been needing your help! Let's go ahead and get this done. You be here just in time. My brothers and sisters in the Valley of Spirits be in danger. So I'm going to try and sneak by this guy. We got to kill that one first. We're just going to test some stuff. Yep. We can just go ahead and go straight in here. That's nice. Into the Valley of Wisdom we go. Now the false son of Durotan must die! The blood of the Maghar is on his head! The Maghar refused to drink the blood of Nazoth and were slaughtered for their defiance. Their spirits demand vengeance! <laughs> so we have a friend in Gaera. That's crazy that it says the false son of Durotan. Makes you wonder what the, uh, what Gaera in our world thinks about Thrall. The uncorrupted one. So, we have to kill every monster in this zone. And there's a lot of stupid on the floor, and the new insanity actually gets us surrounded. Like, it's like so. We walk into it, we are very much stunned. So yeah, not, not cool. And Gaera gives no care. Now the thing that's holding me back is the fact that we have an ability. The next ability is whenever I we defeat an elite, our sanity goes up 200. And I think that's going to be the difference maker. Now, these guys you don't have to worry about necessarily. It is all about the casters. The casters are creating the stupid. And they're the ones that can do the... the very focused, like, choke strangulation thing. See, like, that right there. That's dangerous. Alright, we're at 30%, but there are a few boss, uh, boss mobs that'll make life a little bit easier for us. As you can see, those things are just gonna show up. Gonna fight everything here on the bridge. Because I think this is pretty much a dungeon. They're not gonna. They're not gonna lose their aggro.
and I'm not worried about using our sanity restoration orbs. Just because if we die and have half of our sanity, that's enough to beat Thrall. Ooh, that was well timed. Alright, this is one of the uh, bad guys, the coagulated horror. Now, 200 sanity, that's just, that's gonna be a big difference, I think. A lot of stupid there though in this fight. As you can see. Kinda wanna sit back and let Gera do most of the DPS. Alright, we're at 66. Now the rest of the mobs are up here. Where Thrall's fortress used to be. Whoops. And see, and they'll just pop up around you, so... Running occasionally sucks. Now, these tentacles are just going to cause physical damage, I think, so... Let's see what we can do. App. You notice the screen got dark there a little bit? That's letting us know that uh, we got a bad time incoming. There's still stuff I'm getting used to. See, like right there, that means they're about to show up. Okay, very large tentacles are annoying. Die, 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 die. Like, good lord. And it's weird, because you get so used to, like, the, the kind of dark effects here. Oh. Okay, I may die here. I was not paying attention to my sanity. This is definitely one of the nastier zones, as you can tell. There's a lot to do. I wonder if I can vanish. Can I? You can, but they are, like, instantly on you. Alright, here I go. I've died. I've got half of my sanity back. I'm not so much died as went crazy. No gold and no booze make Swindle go something something. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy. Void Crazed Hulk. Oops. No! What have they done to you? Ah! Bad jump. Should be okay. Maybe. It takes 15 sanity. Whatever that is. Oop. Why? No smash! That was very close. Slay that monstrosity in the name of the Magar! Okay, slay a monstrosity. Got it. So this is us fighting this thing with full... Full sand. Let's see what happens. Okay, defiled ground. Need to stay out of it. And I have no idea... Oh, what's happening around me? Ooh! Keep you corralled. And if you talk, oh man, 33 sanity. I am a okay. I'm in. I'm in the <laughs> the suck zone. Let's 
So if you hate, um, what's the word? Dead. My clan is dead. And nothing I do will ever bring them back. Okay, are we good? Those are bonus objectives. And there is nothing I can do right now. I guess these are the last ones. He exploded into other ooze. Alright. Now my question is, did that work? Critical corruption levels detected. Initiating evacuation protocol. Okay, so you did get we did get credit for that. That's nice. It seems that you are able to withstand the visions for longer than before. Each excursion prepares you for the horrors of Nyalotha. And then pulsing Azerite Geode. Ooh. However, we only got one torn page of fear in the flesh, so we kind of have to get out of that. <laughs> Maybe for this to work. Which is a shame, but I was just kind of showing you guys what we have to do there. So we're going to exit out. And we're going to see where we are on our upgrade. Excellent. That gave, it, gave us om just almost exactly what we needed. So now in Horrific Visions, defeating an elite enemy restores 200 sanity. Every little bit helps. Next up... In Horrific Visions, while above 50% sanity, your damage done is increased by 4. And while below 50, your damage taken is reduced by 4. Killing an enemy grants 1% increased movement speed and haste for 60 seconds. I think it's experimental destabilization would be a lot, but we're gonna, that's going to be a long road. Still, I think that one's going to help out a lot. Okay, I and I've said this before, and I'll say it ad nauseum. I'm really not a fan of this or having to grind as much of it because it reminds me of the whole chromy thing from Legion. And I, if you guys remember from that series, I wasn't a huge fan of that either. I think the um, the wretched on it wasn't called the wretched, but that army um, from Legion and Suramar that you had to command that was about as much as I'm willing to tolerate when it comes to. That kind of grindy stuff. Ooh! Let's go ahead and... Where is it? Spark of Inspiration. So that's kind of awesome. Releases a wave of energy, increasing the damage of all party members with Azerite Essences by 45% for the next 20 seconds. And your spell and abilities have a chance to increase you in a haste. Hmm. Critical Strike is increased. I like the Critical Strike, though. Okay. Still, that's cool that we can get the upgrades. I like it. So, now, we are going to be starting the Waste of Time search, guys. Now, don't worry, we'll still be visiting Hapartho and everything. I'm not going to do... We're going we're gonna to keep on track as much as we can. But it all starts by summoning our buddy Ball, who we were able to grab. Now, every time you summon him, I think he's supposed to say his little... He had that little thing that he said. I forgot. I did it. I did it in like a little voice, but um, one of the things that he says is actually an anagram, and anagrams are very important here, and it revolves around Warcraft Chronicle Volume 2, which is an actual book you have to buy. Fortunately, other people have gone through this, so we're not going to have to, but um, let's see. Following the hints from the Baal anagram, the Lit Orb is located near the entrance to the Skyreach dungeon. 
So Sky Reach is all the way in Draenor. Um, it's where the, I believe, the Spires of Anorak, or Spires of Arak, not Anorak, are. So um, I guess I am heading to Outland, guys. So I will go ahead and use my Garrison Hearthstone and see you guys there. So if you guys remember from the episode where we were actually able to capture Ball, he said... Um, souls feast on endless shrieking in darkness they writhe and scream you will join them and then together forever now when he said that some of the stuff was capitalized and some of it wasn't and if you take all the capitalized words it creates an anagram seek knowledge and that is apparently the first clue here and it actually takes us here there's the spires of Arak fun dungeon too I enjoyed that and it looks like our very first clue is right here. We've got a lit orb here in this basket. Something is written here. Passive icy veins. Which is so a Death Knight reference. <laughs> I actually saw the uh, big world boss fly by here. Always try and farm him to try and see if I think he drops his amount but I don't recall but that is our first clue guys and now our next one is actually going to take us because oh hold still ah whoops <laughs> actually I don't think I can actually get him without a flying mount. Oh, I could actually get him right there. Let's take a quick aside here. Now, when you see the passive icy veins, you're going to think that, okay, this must mean something about death knights. It's actually another anagram. Anagrams are a very big part of, uh, of this hunt. And it actually, believe it means invasive species. So if you think about invasive species and Warcraft, that really runs the gauntlet, right? <laughs> it could be anything. But um, it's actually going to take us to Stormwind, of all places. Which, you know, I, I, don't li I don't mind, because I find humans to be a very invasive species. But um, not really the one, the species that we're referring to. So I'm going to go wait for him to make another loop around, and we'll go ahead and take him out real quick. And we'll see what drops from him, and then we'll uh, head to the Eastern Kingdoms. And loose! Well, boo. <laughs> Leather leggings that I already owned. It's alright. You know, when you uh, go ahead and respawn, you're going to be very, very upset, so I need to go ahead and get out of here. Alright. Well, we figured that out. Now, to head to Stormwind. Fortunately, the trip to Stormwind wasn't didn't take too long at all. Thank you, <laughs> Dead Mind's Pet Dungeon Teleport. So we are here on the outskirts already. From Westfall, and apparently we're go we're going to an area I didn't even know existed, which is awesome. So when you go into the was it the Evergrowth or Ever Everbloom? Let me double check and make sure I'm okay with that. Yeah, the Everbloom. Um, at the end of that dungeon, you yeah, actually we are right here. You actually stop the plants from heading into Stormwind itself. You know, which I kind of disagree with, but whatever. But I didn't know that this actually, like, stayed here. That's awesome. And this is the invasive species they're talking about, which is, you know, a botany term. Let's go ahead and, uh, stay nice and stealthy here, just in case. And apparently the object that we're looking for is close to the portal itself. We are looking for a strange seed. Aha! Something is written here. Sadness keynoted. This is where you go on Google and use that anagram finder. <laughs> like put in those words. How many anagram can you get from these letters? Still, that's that's cool that it's here. Reminds me of the Stargate. 
So, Sadness Key Noted is an anagram of sky, stone, and seed. So, three main words, technically. And it's, ba it's representing three different things. It's the avian race, the Arcoa, represents the sky. The botany, which we saw an example of right there, represents the seed. And the ogres um, are the stone. So this is actually going to take us back to the Spires of Arak, to that area. And uh, we're going to have to find a specific critter. And that's going to be a little bit of a pain to head that direction. Oh well. Lots of zigzagging back and forth. I guess I can see the appeal to it because you wouldn't think, like, after you, like, oh, we, you don't have to go back to the Spires of Arak. I was just there gonna be one of those kind of treasure hunts guys so I will travel that direction and I'll let you know when we get where we need to be I have to say that this entire zone the spires of Arak pretty impressive looking like it, it has a sense of menace to it like without being like super menacing I, you know what I mean like ice crown I dig it our next location takes us here to the northern part of the spires just right at the shadow moon valley and talador border and we are looking for a little amphibian friend hiding somewhere over here so let's go ahead and see if we can find him We're looking for a small frog. Kind of by his lonesome. I know of all the things that we're looking for, a frog, right? But that's just what we're f <laughs> that's what we're looking for. Now, I think there is a particular point. Actually, I think it's further, actually, it's further down. Further down, further down. I think it might be up there on the, in the upper area. So this is kind of like, this is the starting zone when you realize how bad things are in the spires. Because you see their super weapon destroy the veil. Maybe around here. And why is there a bird? <laughs> I, I don't know why there's a bird just chilling underneath the water. Like I've seen the the bird bath thing is quite legit, but I don't know. Okay, keep on hunting, keep on hunting. Hmm. Might be the utmost area. We'll just keep on keeping on here. I love these guys. I, I want either, I want the Arakoa as a horde race. Like, so bad. Hey, hey, you know what? Bad birds. Very, very bad birds. Okay. I actually think I may have passed it. I'm not sure. Give me a sec, guys. Holy crap, when they said uh, tiny frog, they weren't kidding. Alright, so I'm back at this at the lower area. Right here at this junction. And uh, where the bird was bathing. It attacked me. It is now dead. Look at this little guy. <laughs> like, minuscule little frog. And not even alive. Holy crap. 
Alright, well. Let's get our next clue. Dogwig moss. Or, actually, let me do that with the... Dogwig moss? <laughs> okay. Well, that scavenger hunt got taken care of. I'm glad to say. Yep. You be nice now. I said be nice. And I think this is a good place to go ahead and end the episode, guys. When I come back, we will be at the next location. I'm kind of excited because it is an area that I have not been to. I'm about to die. Ooh. No, I'm good. We're good. <laughs> a place that I have not been to in a really, really long time. So it should be cool to return to it. And we'll just keep that. We'll keep on doing that. We'll do the quest for the egg. I will try. Knock on wood. To uh, get some more pages off camera. I just got to get the motivation. And uh, we'll just see where we go from there. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a la like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Or not. Later days, everyone.